So last night Champ was cold. We had the furnace going, but we noticed he was still a little cold. So he got to join us up in the bed. He seems pretty comfy. He only just woke up. We both got up. He was still sleeping. It's Saturday, right Champ? It's a day of sleeping in. This is Simon editing. I was editing. I did a lot of work. <laughs> now he's watching Vikings. Vikings! Ragnar Lothbrok! Well, it doesn't look like he wants to come back down. Wanna go for a walk? Oh, here we go, here we go. That's a good step. Alright, alright, come here. Come here. Alright, perfect. One, two, three. <laughs> Stop squirming. There you go. There you go. Uh, there's no real surefire way to get a puppy down off that bed. Alright, let's go. Leaving our host in Austin? Yeah, well, Austin. I mean, Austin. Austin, our host in York. Um, a really cool guy, really awesome family. Just, they're so, everyone we've met has been just so amazing. I feel like we owe some serious karma to the world after meeting all these strangers from the internet. But Austin actually, he make, he has a company called Bubble and & Twine and, they, and he makes a, a lot of like oils and, and scrubs and soaps and stuff like that. And he hooked us up with some cool stuff for my beard so that it will not look as straggly as it has in our videos. So I am really excited about that. Help me grow it out to Gandalf standards have and to do smell a, a fantastic. Review of it. Yeah, we're gonna After have to do a review. Use it for a couple days. See how... We'll let you know just how good or not good it is. I'm sure it's great. He's he's doing it all with great ingredients and he's making it with care and he seems to have his heart in the right place. So I I think it'll be awesome. So our host gave us a long list of things we should see. Yeah, and one of them is uh, downtown York. York apparently used to be the capital of America for a little while there. So uh, it's actually quite a thriving little town and it's got quite a lot going on so we're excited to see. So York is like this beautiful, beautiful town, like probably one of the prettiest places we've been to in our whole trip. We're uh, back in the van, we're gonna have some lunch because we have a lot of leftovers over the last few days. So we're gonna chow down on that for lunch and head up to the town of Hershey. I was doing more research on the seven gates of hell. It's kind of a bust. It happens sometimes, but I'm glad I figured it out before I drove all the way out there. Why is it a bust? 
It's not even, it's not a waterfall at all. Oh. It's like some old doctor's office she did say there with was urban a park legend. With like lots of waterfalls. Yeah, I don't, well, that's not it. Whatever it is. The sandwich was really good. This we're sandwich. Get, we're getting better and better at, um, at heating stuff up on the stove. Yeah. You don't need a microwave, man. You can heat it up on the stove. No, you don't. Yeah, it's doable. There's lots of people who don't have microwaves, and I always thought they were crazy, but no, it's could, definitely doable. I was reheat pizza and reheat sandwich done on stovetop. It worked out yeah. just fine. All right, let's hit the road. so bad buddy but this is chocolate this is the only place we've gone on our trip that you really you really can't participate you really in. can't do this no there's too many chocolate. chocolates you can't have chocolate oh. buddy maybe or one day they'll make a dog safe chocolate factory we should end this dog safe chocolate <laughs> but look at his eyes they're like little hershey's kisses they're just so beautiful Okay, so I get it. This town is all about Hershey's, but I mean it's all about Hershey's. Everywhere you look, every building has got chocolate on it. There's the roller coaster running. And the roller coaster is running. The Hershey's Museum. I'm gonna learn about some chocolate. But what happened? Like so, they, they have a website and it has just everything on there. Well, it's, it's, it gets a little confusing because every building in this town is, has something to do with the Hershey factory. So, apparently people ask so much, they prepare these little slips and you just follow the instructions. What and if you're people good ask so much? Well, they ask, like, where's the, the free virtual tour thing? So, um, yeah, we got to follow these instructions and we'll find it. On the way here, I went on the Hershey's website and I was researching all the things you could do here. And we didn't really want to pay to do anything. We just wanted to do kind of free activities, maybe buy some chocolate. Um, but it's confusing because they have everything to do with Hershey on one website, but they're all at different locations. So we got to this place assuming it was where we could go do the Hershey's things, but, just but it costs to get in. It just happens to be like the first Hershey's building we've seen, but there's like two dozen other ones. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll find it. Yeah. So apparently Chocolate World is what we were looking for. Oh. We thought that Chocolate World was just the theme park. But yeah. It is the theme park, but they have the, the free 30 minute ride with free chocolate. It's insane in here. Insane. This is so cool. I am literally on Willy Wonka right now. 
We are on Willy Wonka. This is the cooler. Being seated at all times and keep your hands, arms, and legs inside the car. Our journey begins just outside the factory in the dairy fields of Hershey, Pennsylvania. Mr. Hershey built his factory here for one very important reason. And that reason is the pastures full of cows that provide one of the most important ingredients required to make Hershey's milk chocolate. <laughs> well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. It's true that milk is an important part of the process, but let's start at the beginning, here at the Hershey factory, where the cocoa beans arrive from tropical areas all over the world. The roasted cocoa beans are then ready to move on to the next stage of the process, a process that will begin to transform plain cocoa beans into Hershey's milk chocolate. It begins right up They're roasting you. The it's actually no warm. Chocolate gets its special flavor and the extra added nutritional value. As the gals say, it's nutritious. Here, milk, sugar, and chocolate liquor are brought together and mixed in just the right proportions to create that special Hershey's taste. But there's still a ways to go before it's finished. On your left is a series of roll refining machines. The refining process grinds the chocolate until it reaches a uniform and smooth consistency. And with our milk chocolate made to perfection, we then add peanuts, almonds, and other extras to create a world of wonderful chocolate treats. Here you see the completely automated wrapping machines put in the finishing touch. And we get free chocolate at the end of the ride. This is awesome. You've got the cow song, the Hershey's milk chocolate song stuck I in your I do. Head. Okay, those cows remind me exactly of like goddesses or whatever they are from Hercules that sing. And that is them. They're exactly totally. like that. And it's so catchy. Totally. That would be the appropriate s'more size for sure. We just need a giant graham cracker. And a giant bonfire to roast it on. Awesome. You could also make like grilled cheese and stuff in there. Multi-purpose. Multi-purpose. Shelby, we should probably go. Before you buy all the chocolate in this place, we I gotta thought, get going. I thought maybe we'd just buy one little thing of chocolate. Getting that for Sam, my sister? Yeah. She's a monster. We restrained ourselves and we didn't buy any chocolate. For ourselves. We did get that free chocolate bar, but we got for Simon's sister. She loves Nutella. We thought she'd like this. It's a peanut butter chocolate spread. So, so I think she'll love that. She will, totally. It's pretty exciting because we're actually right at the end of our trip. So we're gonna get to see your family in like five days? Your family in five days. Well, we're not gonna be in Ottawa for a bit longer. Yeah, but it'll be like a couple more weeks until I see my family, but still, very soon. Yeah, I saw my family at Christmas, but you haven't seen your family since Thanksgiving or something. Well, our Thanksgiving, so they, October. They might even miss me now. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Bye, Hershey's World. Bye. You know, the, I was just thinking the roller coasters and the chocolate, it's not really a good combination. I think there's like children like throwing up everywhere. That's all children do, Shelby. So this, this is Centralia, and in the 1960s, a coal mine caught fire and it just has not stopped burning. So apparently you should be able to uh, go down this highway and see these cracks where the earth has opened up because all of this coal has burned and it's still burning. Apparently you can still see steam sometimes. This is where the road used to go but they put this earthen mound to stop people from driving here because the road is, uh, well, they can't build anything on it because it just gets swallowed up eventually by the ground underneath. Oh, it's a mid -shubs. Hey, do you think we should camp out here tonight? 
Well, we'd have to camp on the side of the highway. No, we'll get the van over those lumps. Those lovely oh. baby bumps. Cracks keep getting bigger. Do you feel any of the hot ground yet? No. No? no I just touched it. It doesn't feel hot. Oh. Somebody's shooting a gun right over that hill. So apparently the town that used to be here has all been demolished. Apparently there's somewhere you can still see the cement slabs of where the houses were. I haven't found that yet. But uh, the cemetery's still here because I couldn't move that. Kids are really having a great time without all the supervision. <laughs> Just tearing the place up. I guess nobody seems to care. It's a good place for it. So this is our camping spot for tonight. We picked uh, what must have been one of the nicer houses in the area. Um, it's long gone, but it, they had like a stone wall around the outside. So we have a stone wall around our house tonight. Yeah, that's right. Living the upper life, upper crust. Champ's digging her campsite. Champ, you happy? Yeah, that's a lot of tail wagon. Okay. Mm -hmm. Happy Easter dinner. Here she is, mashed potatoes, corn, chicken, and a boatload of gravy with ma with mushrooms. No mushrooms on Shelby's gravy. No, no mushrooms. I am exhausted. I am gonna watch Cora with you, and then let's go to bed. Okay. That's okay with you, unless you want to party. You want to party hard? Kinda. Okay. Well, we'll party hard instead. Okay, good night. Okay.